58 degrees right now. And Ooh, love it. Oh, yeah. And, Feels uh, like fall football weather. I know. Quite, I'm though. telling you. And instead of baseball weather. But uh, time for a sports roundup. Father Matt Frisbee is on the line, uh, uh, so to speak. How are you, Father? Oh, I am blessed. Doing well, Ron and Dave. Hope you are as well. And, uh, you know, we should talk baseball here really quickly about the Indians, the Guardians. Mm-hmm. They had that nine-game win streak. They swept the Twins. They swept the Angels. Yeah. Uh, they swept some other team in there. I can't even remember now at this point. But uh, nine in a row, and that got broken yesterday. They were out in Coors Field, lost to the Rockies. A bad team. You know, the Rockies are one of the worst teams in baseball this year. Well, and, the Guardians uh, the only they Guardians. only lose to the to the bad teams. They always win with the good <laughs> I teams. I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. But you know, I think it's worth talking really briefly about Jose Ramirez, the uh, their star third baseman. I saw this stat that he uh, through fifty two games, it was in company with uh, two other players of having hit fifteen or more homers, driven in fifty. RBIs or more, stole seven bases or more, and struck out 25 times or less. Mm. So he's done that through 52 games. The other two players, Ken Griffey Jr. in 1999 and Babe Ruth in 1930. So Not bad company. Not bad company. The other thing for the Indians Guardians, they have one of the best records in baseball. They, uh, before yesterday, had a record – that uh, was one of the best in franchise history, tying the 1920 team, which won the World Series, the 1954 team, which went to the World Series, and the 1995 team, which also went to the World Series. So, mm-hmm. you know, baseball's a long season, but certainly a very good start to the season for the Indians or Guardians. Certainly the best start in uh, in recent memory. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you got that right. Absolutely. So, so that's a little bit on the baseball front, and we should move on to basketball. And, you know, Wendy mentioned the passing of Bill Walton. Mm. And, of course, Bill Walton, one of the uh, really legendary games, especially in college out of UCLA, uh, you know, very good, played for the Trailblazers, and then uh, I think won a championship with the Trailblazers, won a championship with uh, the Boston Celtics as well in the 80s those McHale and Bird teams. Yeah. And uh but he's perhaps most remembered for his personality. Yeah. Um right. you know, just uh you know, especially as he was doing color commentary uh for games throughout the years. He's crazy he was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very I mean his opinions were were fabulous. He'd also kind of get going with uh, with the, his fellow broadcasters on particular topics, and he didn't mind defending his point of view. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah. so we certainly uh, pray for the repose of his soul, and uh, as we think about basketball as well, too, kind of going on, speaking to Celtics, they swept the Pacers. They're in the NBA yeah. Finals. Mm. Uh, yeah, you know, I would say if, they, I'm a Celt- made- if I'm a Celtics fan, I feel good about sweeping the Pacers, but I don't feel so great that I'm about to have to play the Mavs. But, I, I, I mean, I'm... I know that's where it's going, and I've been watching these series, and I will tell you, the Dallas Mavs, it, it's going to be tough to beat them. Well, yeah, certainly, you know, they, they have Luka Doncic, who is yeah. one heck of a player the Mavs have. You know, he is, uh, he is difficult to defend. Yeah, and then also Kyrie. Uh, Kyrie, and I'm I'm kind of a bigger fan of Kyrie. The guy is just really pouring it on right now. He's had some difficult years, but he's showing all the potential people thought he had. Uh, obviously, winning the championship with Cleveland back in the day with uh, LeBron, uh, but now right back at it. Yeah, that's right. He he clearly still has gas left in the tank. You're right. He really found some hard years. Where, you know, he was on these teams with, like, the Nets with Kevin Durant, and they never did anything. But he, he's kind of found a good home there in Dallas. And, uh, yeah, they've got things going, too. You know, I would think it should be a pretty good final. Um, I go back. I went to a, my one NBA game this year back in February, Cavs and Mavs. Oh, really? And, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was the one. The Cavs won on that 60-foot buzzer beater. Mm. Um. But, you know, I saw Luka Doncic and Kyrie 
in action there, and uh, they are tough. There's no doubt about that. Mavs, it seems a little more focused on, or, you know, their team really uh, is going to be built on those two players. The uh, the Celtics, certainly, they've got some players too, but it seems more of a team effort uh, from the Celtics. But what do I know? I barely watch the NBA. <laughs> Yeah, I I picked it back up. It's just a lot of fun. Hey, and this news coming out uh, in the fall, big, big news about Harrison Butker. Don't know if you've heard this. He'll be kicking a football for the Kansas City Chiefs in the fall. That's right. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) Real quick, too, Rafa Nadal, great 14-time champion of the French Mm. Open, maybe played his last match there yesterday. Thank you, Father Matt. This is Rodney Schuster, Executive Director of Capital.